Hi everyone, it's David France. I'm out here in sunny Spain today, so I thought I'd shoot this short video, just keep it real quick. I've had a question come in from Lee on Facebook, and he's asked me a question about lease options. And he wants to know, when you actually buy a lease option, if you can't contact the seller, what do you do? So it all comes down to the paperwork. If you've got the right paperwork and the paperwork we use, we have a provision in the power of attorney document that allows us to deal with the transfer of ownership. So we're allowed to sign a TR1 transfer document on behalf of the seller and we're allowed to pay off any mortgages that are on the property and deal with the whole affairs on the property. It's a very, very key provision. And if you don't have it in your contracts, then you may find yourself running into big trouble when you come to buy the property. Because if you can't get hold of the seller and you're relying on them to sign that TR1, you're not going to be able to get hold of them. So you might not be able to buy it. And it, you know, if your property's gone up in in, in value significantly and you want to buy your lease option at that stage like we're doing with some of ours right now you need to have this provision in the contract it's extremely important so don't skimp on paperwork or, le or solicitors make sure you use solicitors and they put the right provisions in there so I hope that's answered your question Lee uh, before I go I'm gonna put a link below as well we've got some free gifts to give you uh, we've got lease option paperwork and deal calculators to give you so you can access them by clicking the link below. If anyone's got any questions or you want me to do any short videos for you like I'm doing for Lee on any specifics, whether it's lease options, below market value deals, um, deal packaging, building your portfolio, whatever it is, drop a comment below and I'd be delighted to do a short video for you. I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you.